Hello, hello, and welcome to the Feed My Sheep Foundation Bible Study Video Channel. Today we're going to do a revelation on this uh, video, and it's going to be under the Captain's Voice series, and it's going to be entitled Petition. Okay, Petition, which is basically prayer unto the Heavenly Father. And there are certain um, stories that illustrate that particular operation whenever an individual is petitioning the kingdom petitioning heaven and uh, there and then the response from God once they have petitioned heaven and they first put themselves in a position to be able to position to uh, petition heaven because you know as we know in the word of God uh, God tells us that uh, he doesn't hear a sinner's prayer but he does honor them if they worship and praise him. And I should have had that prepared so that I could show you that. But I do not. But nevertheless, we're going to keep on going with the petitions. Looking at the revelation regarding petition. And then one of the books that I'm led to, the first one actually was in the book of Esther. Where uh, Esther was petitioned. She had put on her royal apparel. And she had went before the king to petition him, just as we do, you know. And just as I just stated, that royal apparel would be considered the garment of the Holy Ghost, okay? In order to be seated in his presence, because his presence, God's presence, is the Holy Spirit, the Holy Ghost. So here we take a look at uh, Esther in chapter 5. It says, it came to pass on the third day that Esther put on her royal apparel, and she stood in the inner court of the king's house, over against the king's house. And the king sat upon his royal throne in the royal house, over against the gate of the house. Okay, so the king being referenced uh, and symbolic to God, of course, and the court, of course, heaven, you know, because he's in his courts, holy courts. In the heavens and that's where we go whenever we have to petition heaven and on behalf of whatever it is we want to petition heaven on behalf of but before that we put on our royal apparel which would be uh, one that's converted into the kingdom so we're looking at another thing to take note of is this is like I've stated on this channel many times that in the Old Testament we uh, God has these stories for us to read for reflection in order to bring a revelation and this chapter is doing that very thing because as we look at the chapter and we see the queen coming before the king okay it's also symbolic to the saint coming before the heavenly father okay so I'm going to go ahead on and continue reading it says and it was so when the king saw Esther the queen standing in the court that she obtained favor in his sight and the king held out to Esther the golden sceptre that was in his hand. And so Esther drew near and touched the top of the sceptre. Okay, so here we have Esther is standing in the courts. So that would be just like a saint standing with the Holy Spirit, of course, that, because that's what makes you a saint. Because you become uh, converted into the kingdom of God. So therefore, you are petitioning in prayer, standing before the courts of heaven, okay? And his, it says here that uh, she obtained favor in his sight because she was in that position, okay? And the king held out a um, golden sceptre, which was something they used in the Old Testament. The kings did, and... God also had gave uh, Moses something similar to a sceptre when he gave him the rod. And it's also mentioned, and I do believe that uh, Isaiah, Jeremiah, one of the prophets was given the rod also. And that's sort of, uh, that's sort of symbolic too. Uh, it could be the same as the sceptre, but symbolic to uh the Lord's presence, the Lord's power, okay, and the Lord's might. So it says here that uh, the king held out to Esther 
the Lord of the golden scepter. And that was in his hand, so Esther drew near and touched it. Then it says, verse 3 says, Then said the king to her, What wilt thou, Queen Esther? And what is thy request? It shall be given to you, and to have the kingdom. And, and Esther answered, If it seems good unto the king, let the king and Haman come this day unto the banquet that I have prepared for him. Then the king said, Cause Haman to make haste, that he, may, that he may do as Esther has said. So the king and Haman came to the banquet uh, that Esther had prepared. And the king said to Esther at the banquet of wine, What is thy petition? And it shall be granted to you. And what is thy request? Even to the half of the kingdom it shall be performed. Then this is what uh, Esther answered and said, My petition and my request is, I have, If I have found favor in thy sight, O king, and if it please the king to grant my petition and to perform my request, then she goes on to say what she wants to have done. Okay, so here we have, and that's the part, we're going to start right there because we're just looking at petitioning uh, the heavens, going before the heavenly father, in communion and prayer and, and requests for whatever it may be that you are requesting from him because he has the power to do it to give it to you and to bring it to pass whatever it is and another story that I'm led to by the Holy Spirit where we can look at in the New Testament regarding petitioning is going to be in uh, chapter 3 in the book of Mark chapter 3 in the book of Mark and then it starts with uh, verse 21 chapter 3 and in the book of Mark verse 21 and when his friends heard of it uh, they went out to lay hold of him for they said he is beside himself and the scribes which came uh, down from Jerusalem said he has bells above, and by the prince of the devils he casts out devils. And he, ca he and he called them unto him and said unto them in a parable, How can Satan cast out Satan? Wait a minute. Hold on, I think I'm reading the wrong verse here. <laughs> it says, okay, I put Mark, the book of Mark, chapter 3, we're in. It's not Mark. I think that may have been Luke I was looking at. And I put Mark because this is the story. The next story we have is regarding uh, John the Baptist. Whenever Herod's daughter asks for uh, John the Baptist's head to be put in a charger. That was her request to the king. And I don't know how I've gotten maybe it was four. in the wrong book but nevertheless that's the story I don't have the actual uh, Bible verses in front of me as I thought I did but the story of uh, do, do we call the story the story is of uh, again Parag who was a king in a specific uh, region and he had a daughter who came before him with a request to actually kill John the Baptist and have him put into a charger, have his head put into a charger. And that was her request for a man of God. And because, unfortunately, this Hurrah God was a king, he was a king indeed, and so therefore, and she had petitioned him for him to do this and he had told her he would grant her, you know, whatever her petition was, and therefore he had to grant her petition, and therefore he had to, uh, he had to kill John the Baptist. And that's what he did. But again, it was because she petitioned him. Okay, and I don't see how or where this book
so I still can't come to that story. It's, it's in one of the Gospels. Jesus Christ, where is this at? I don't want to. Because that's a part of the Bible study here today. And I have it coming from the book of Mark. And it's definitely not in chapter 3. Here we go. Sorry about that. Chapter 6. <laughs> Okay, chapter 6, and then it starts with uh, verse 14. It was just, as I stated, it's the story of King Herod. And I'm just going to skip around verses because I've actually told you the story. Uh, and it was regarding uh, his daughter coming, petitioning him to have John the Baptist, his head, uh, put into a charger. She wanted to have him killed. And so, therefore, he did that. And the only reason why he did that, again, is because he told her he would give her her request. He had, she had gotten favor from him, just like Esther had gotten favor from this king that she went before, and she had requests for him. So both stories, again, we just want to look at in reference to being a reflection and a revelation from God into how the saint and the kingdom of heaven operates, okay? And how an individual comes before the heavenly father through his courts, and if he has found favor in God, and God will answer your petition, whatever it may be that you are petitioning him for, okay? So right now here on the channel, in the mighty name of Christ, Jesus Christ, we are going to petition heaven, hallelujah, for more and more of God's glory in the earth. In the mighty name of Christ, Jesus upon his saints, oh holy God, let it go forth mightily. Oh, we ask for more and more always. I'm going to always petition God for more of his anointing to break yokes of bondage in the earth mightily. Oh, God. In Jesus Christ's mighty name. And God bless you. And uh, look forward to studying with you as we continue to go forward on the Feed My Sheep Foundation. And also another thing. Hallelujah. I've got to bring this up in the mighty name of Christ Jesus before the heavens. We want to petition God for more for good works, more good works and more greater works, good, greater, greater works, because he has decreed and declared out of the word that his saints should be able to do greater works. And that's what we want to be able to do on the earth today. In Jesus Christ's mighty name, God bless you.